What exactly happened to Flight 236? Away from the cameras, an accident investigation begins immediately by the Portuguese, Canadian, and French transport authorities. Initial checks quickly confirm that all the fuel tanks of the Airbus were indeed empty. But to lose more than 17 tons of fuel in such a short space of time means they had a major leak. The question is, where? Engineers examine the fuel system, searching for faults in the tanks and the fuel lines. It isn't long before they find what they're looking for, just by the right engine. In this particular case, you had a hydraulic tube that's relatively small by comparison to the larger fuel tube. And the hydraulic tube, due possibly to pulsations in the hydraulic system, were abrading against the larger tube. And eventually the larger tube uh, had a leak in it, and the leak, or not the leak itself, but the, uh, the hole eventually possibly led into a fracture of the tube, allowing this massive fuel flow outside of the engine. The investigators begin checking air transcend maintenance records. They discover that on the 17th of August, five days before the flight, Air Transat removed the right-hand engine for maintenance and installed a replacement unit sent by Rolls-Royce. But as they analyze the repair logs for the engine, they uncover a shocking mistake. This was not a case of faulty design, but of faulty maintenance. Rolls-Royce had supplied the engine without a hydraulic pump assembly. To overcome this, Transat mechanics had used the parts from an older engine but they didn't fit properly, and the pipes had been rubbing together for five days. Until midway over the Atlantic, one finally broke. The engine was delivered minus these two tubes and a bracket, that the purpose of that bracket was to maintain adequate clearance. So if they took the bracket off the old engine and put it on the new engine, is that the pipes would be locked together so that they could possibly abrade. So they, the mechanics, now I, I can't fault them, but they are not given specific instructions to verify the three millimeter clearance. As investigators questioned air transat mechanics, they find more disturbing evidence of malpractice. The chief mechanic testified that he had been concerned about the substitution of another hydraulic assembly. Five days before the accident, he raised his concerns with his superior. He was told that it would cost too much to have the aircraft waiting for the missing parts and to go ahead with the substitution. Not exactly. I mean, I've got... The replacement parts only differed from the correct ones by a few millimeters. But it was the difference that almost cost 306 lives. <laughs> 